students today i will be discussing about salts so what are salts salts are substances which are formed by neutralization reaction which are formed by neutralization reaction so a neutralization reaction is such a reaction in which acid reacts with base to give salt plus water the opposite of neutralization reaction is hydrolysis reaction the opposite of neutralization reaction is hydrolysis reaction that means hydrolysis of salt is the opposite of neutralization there are different types of salts namely normal salts acidic salts basic salts double salt complex salts mixed salts so let us discuss one by one now about normal salts acidic salts basic salts double salt complex salts and mixed salts normal salts are those salt which do not contain any replaceable hydrogen like sodium sulfate potassium nitrate aluminum phosphate calcium chloride etc acidic salts salts which contain replaceable hydrogen atoms like you can see nah so4 sodium bisulfate sodium hydrogen phosphate sodium bicarbonate so these have replaceable h plus ion so they are called acidic salt they are called acidic salts basic salts basic salts contain replaceable hydroxyl group so a salt which has replaceable oh minus group they are called basic, basic salt like zn oh cl mg oh cl next uh, next in the list is double salts double salts are formed by combination of two simple salts like potassium alum k2so4 al2so4 whole thrice 24 h2o other examples of double salts are more salt feso4 nh4 whole twice so4 6 h2o another example of double salt is carnallite kcl mgcl2 6 h2o so these are the examples of double salt these are the examples of double salt now coming to mixed salt uh, no coming to complex salt so these complex salts are also called uh, coordination compounds these are also called coordination compound example is potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 k4 fecn whole 6 this is formed by d block element mostly by d block element so you have the transition element that is iron takes part and there is a coordinate bond that is formed between ligands and metal that is formed between ligand and metal other example of complex salts are k3 fecn whole 6 uh, nico whole 4 uh, pt ns3 whole 2 cl2 so these are the example of complex salt now coming to mixed salt mixed salt contain more than one type of cation or anion mixed salt contains more than one type of cation or anion like calcium oxychloride cao cl2 here different type of anions are cl minus and o cl minus sodium potassium sulfate here different types of cation are sodium ion and potassium ion now let's see different salts category like salts of strong acid and strong base few of the examples of salts of strong acid and strong base are sodium chloride potassium chloride cesium chloride and sodium sulfate if you see sodium chloride so sodium is uh, sodium comes from so sodium hydroxide which is a strong base and chlorine comes from hydrochloric acid which is an strong acid so sodium chloride is a salt of strong acid and strong base the salts of strong acid and strong base does not undergo any hydrolysis so their ph remains same that is neutral salts of strong acid and weak base examples are ammonium chloride zinc sulfate ferrous sulfate magnesium chloride etc where the Uh, anionic part comes from strong acid and the cationic part comes from weak base so the ph of these salts are less than 7 because uh, strong it is the salt of strong acid and weak base it is the salt of strong acid and weak base now coming to salts of weak acid and strong base like sodium acetate potassium carbonate so if you see sodium acetate the acetate ion comes from weak acid that is acetic acid and sodium comes from strong base that is sodium hydroxide so sodium acetate is an example of salts of weak acid and strong base the ph is more than 7 for such salts the salts of weak acid and weak base example ammonium acetate ammonium carbonate so both cation and anion are derived from weak acid as well as weak base so cation is derived from weak base and anion is derived from weak acid like acetic acid is a weak acid and ammonium hydroxide is a weak base similarly ammonium hydroxide is a ammonium hydroxide is a carbonate comes from carbonic acid which is a weak acid and ammonium hydroxide comes from weak base so ammonium ion comes from weak base so the ph of such salt depends on the relative strength of weak acid and weak base so these are the different categories of salt 
you will read this concept in hydrolysis of salt you will read this concept in hydrolysis of salt so do, do remember this list uh, salts of strong acid strong base salts of strong acid weak base salts of weak acid and strong base salts of weak acid and weak base